Hi, I'm Peg Pearl, Arapahoe County's Director of Elections. In this video, we're going to explain how we record and report vote totals and why totals change between election night and when results are considered official. Colorado elections begin when ballots hit the mail, about 22 days before the election. Our bipartisan ballot security teams collect ballots from our P.O. box at the post office and all the 24-hour drop boxes across the county and bring them back here to our election facility. Signatures on ballot envelopes are verified and then the envelopes are handled by bipartisan teams of ballot openers who separate the envelope from the ballots to ensure voter anonymity. Next, scanners record the votes from each ballot. As each ballot is scanned, the votes on that ballot are recorded and stored as individual files on a secure server that is not connected to the internet. So we have no way of knowing which candidates and issues are winning or losing until after the polls close on election night. At 7 p.m. when polls close, election managers across Colorado begin the tabulation process and all those individual files are brought together to total votes on our election management system. Again, this server is not connected to the internet so it cannot be hacked from the outside. Those vote totals are then transferred with encrypted devices and uploaded to election night reporting that appears on the Secretary of State and County websites just after 7 p.m. But, and this is important, we keep processing ballots until we have gotten through all of the ones that we have received by the 7 p.m. deadline on election night. Once we've finished all those ballots, by law, we still have eight days after the election to count ballots as voters verify signatures. We also accept ballots from military and overseas voters and those ballots that were turned into other counties. It just takes time. So what can you do to help us provide timely and accurate results? One thing all voters can do is to vote and return their ballots early. The more ballots we receive before election day, the sooner we can verify them and the more votes that can be totaled at 7 p.m. on election night. The next thing you can do is be patient. Look, we know how exciting elections can be and how much you want the results, but we need to make sure that we are thorough and careful in our process. It's important to remember that vote totals will shift as we count the final in-person votes and military and overseas ballots. The last thing you can do is learn how the process works and share with others what you know. You can share this video with people who have questions and you can watch other videos on our YouTube channel that explain the process. That way, when you hear others asking why are results taking so long or talking about finding votes, you can set them straight. For more trusted elections information, go to arapovotes.gov.